Airbenders are some of the most agile characters in the Avatar universe, and their ability to use that agility to evade strikes is unmatched. And so today we're going to be able to learn how to do one of the moves that Airbenders actually use in the show and talk just a little bit about the perfect weapon for any airbender. But let's play a game. Some airbenders escaped the Fire Nation genocide, so if your like on the video ends in a three, a six, or a nine, then you survived. So let me know in the comments how you went out fighting or where you hid from the Fire Nation. Either way, I'm down to hear your stories. What's up guys, it's the only ninja wearing aviators and a superhero hat and a welcome to the Modern Ninja. This is episode 2 of the Avatar miniseries here on the channel where I've been breaking down and teaching you how to do the real life Avatar moves. Now in the first video we went over a bunch of details about all the base elemental bending styles and so if you haven't seen that yet make sure to go check that out because it'll have a lot more details uh, than this video. This video is more talking about a tutorial and you know discussing the weapon or the perfect weapon for your airbenders. Airbenders do actually have a bending weapon that they carry in the show and that's the bow staff or staff or bow. Yes I know saying bow staff is redundant it's like saying the word staff staff or bow bow but I'm an American. You, Give me a break. Now, the air nomads are generally pacifists, so technically this is more of a way of transportation for the nomads. Being able to turn it into a glider and allow them to uh, surf the air that they can bend, allowing them to fly at insane speeds. However, that doesn't stop Aang and the other airbenders from the live action show from using that staff to put down their enemies. Now the staff is one of the most simple weapons out there, just being a literal stick, but because of that it's seen in nearly every martial art in existence, making it incredibly versatile and well rounded. And the fact that they are very simple in their construction means that pretty much anyone anywhere can create some kind of bow staff and use it effectively. I also think that airbenders would be outstanding with war fans. Aang even proves my point for a little bit of time when he was able to use them with the Kyoshi warriors. He was able to send firebenders like Zuko through a building with just one stroke. And really, Zuko should have died, like he was sent flying through a building. He should have died, but you know, we're gonna chalk that up to show logic. But the Warfen is a traditional Japanese weapon that was used by the samurai of feudal Japan. And I feel like not a lot of people know that the samurai used more than just swords. This weapon was not only used to stab and whack other opponents, but also hide things that a samurai may be carrying in their other hands. Things like throwing knives, poison daggers, smoke bombs, sand pack pouches, or anything else they might have been using. For airbenders specifically, I mean, it's pretty clear to see why they would work so well. I mean, they are war fans, and if, if it can't blow air, can you really even call it a fan? But let's get into that tutorial. So I figured it was just too perfect to do the first tutorial outside of the main video for airbenders, the freest of all the peoples, in the graffiti park called the Fabrication Yard in Dallas, which is also meant to be a free expression of art in so many ways. And so if you hear me a little bit differently, I'm sorry, I forgot my mic this time. I'll fix it next time, don't worry, I'll remember, hopefully. Uh, but hopefully we can get to our tutorial, which involves a staff. For this, I actually unretired my Thanos staff because what we're gonna go over is actually something we see Aang do with his bow staff very, very often. And that is spin it over and over to whether that's block fire, he spins it above his head to uh, slow his falls or anything like that. He is always seen spinning his staff over and over and over. And so I wanna teach you guys how to do this basic spin right here. This is all in your hand. So we're gonna get nice and close and focus on our hands today. Uh, my wristband is my right hand, so if I ever say right hand go on top or bottom or whatever, my wristband for reference is my right hand. You're gonna take the staff that you're using, or you can use a broomstick, you can use anything to, uh, that is straight to get you started. But you're gonna take your staff in your left hand, palm 
down. And you're gonna take your right hand, set it on top just like so, with the back of your hands facing each other. Now, this, this spin runs on a rhythm, a pattern that stays through. Uh, and even if you go faster, the pattern still stays true. The pattern will be miss, catch, miss, catch. There are some other ways to do this, but the one I find is the easiest is the miss, catch pattern, which means the first time you spin, you do not catch it, you miss it. The second time you spin, you catch it with your thumb and your left hand facing down and the palm and your right hand facing up. Then as you grab, again, miss, catch. You miss the first opportunity and catch the second with both thumbs facing down. Back to hands on each other, miss, catch. Hands on each other, miss, catch. And that pattern is what keeps it nice and smooth and controlled. Now, once you get more uh, comfortable, you can start speeding up and you wanna make sure that you lower your stacks. If you're doing it at a high, it can be done, but it's a whole lot harder than keeping your shoulders relaxed and keeping it low to your body because this is what will make sure that you have as much control over your weapon as possible. So as you get faster and faster and faster, you stay controlled the entire time. Now, that's not the only type of spin. There's speed figure eights, there's traditional figure eights, there's uh, full, like what I call is full moon figure eights, uh, where it comes front and around, right? You can go around the world. <laughs> not like that. <laughs> Uh, it's okay if you mess up, that should tell you it's okay if you mess up, but there's around the world where it goes around one side completely in a circle around your body. There's all kinds of things, hand roll figure eights. And so if you want me to do more about bow staff and teach you more about it, because it's one of my favorite weapons and honestly the best weapon to begin with, let me know because I'm really considering doing a, a staff course for you guys, taking you from zero to 60. So if that's interesting to you, let me know in the comments. But one more time, just to make sure we're all good, holding in your left hand, back to back, skip, catch, skip, catch, skip, catch, skip, catch, and that is your spin. Now, let's get back inside. Guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you want to see more of these videos earlier than anyone else, consider becoming a member of the channel. It would really help me out and help the channel out being able to give me the time to make better and better content for you. Um, and it would get your name at the end of the video like credits because it would show because you guys would be showing your support for the channel But if you can't support in that way, that's okay You can simply drop a like maybe share the video with a friend and leave a comment that would also be Awesome, but until next time my name's DJ Moore. This is the modern ninja and I'm out Be the modern ninja, but Lift off. just know I'm dangerous I'm on that Bruce Lee, flow like water, state of mind Got me going farther than I ever thought I could have been Gotta grab a sheet of paper as you know I got the pin Anybody want to smoke your whole career be looking grim I hit flashing change while your boy been in the gym Watch me spitting flames while the frogs try to